uh, like I said earlier, I was watching that Princess Diana vid videos and uh, like I said, Mohammed Al Fayed accused Prince Philip of staging the car accident. Okay. Uh, you know Doji Al Fayed's father? Okay. Yeah, he accused them. Um, I think he accused the whole family of staging it. Can't be accused, Huh? Is he? Oh, no. Oh, yeah, there's Russian Russian music, Max. I think a lot of people who aren't homophobic would hate Russian people. I think the Trump sounds stupid. Donald Trump is smart, isn't smart. Oh, have you seen video? Have you seen like on the TV programs? He was at the. Uh, do you know a few months ago he said he went to the went to Buckingham Palace? Ooh. Trump did see the Queen. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've seen the state in the thing where they talk about stuff, and it's come up the it's coming up towards the seventy fifth anniversary of D Day. Uh -huh. To do with World War Two. Yeah, that was that happened, and uh, did you watch that program then? That bloke. I I thought when I heard him mention the uh, mm. the bomb men, but he only mentioned it. Yeah. I thought they were going to show it then. It, it looks like he's from Pembroke. Yeah, he, he must be because he's only getting the speech now. Yeah. He he said that he was a teenager living there when they when it was bombed. Mm. Who was? I was talking the program. Uh. 95 years old, isn't it? He's 85. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, so sort of Chris Tarman was. Well, uh, Chris... he would be because I was about six or seven. Yeah, you were 10 when World War Two finished. He was 11 years old, was it? He was 11 years old. Yeah. Yeah, there's documentary. It's, and it's, it said he was called up when um, he was 18. Yeah, it said about, um, you know, Chris yeah. Tarrant, he he's done like a film or something to do with Auschwitz, and there's a 90 year old man, and he was talking about like the gas chamber and stuff, and things like that. And even got, uh, apparently, the guy who, the 90 year old, apparently, he had. Uh, I was. I was four when I was there, but I was seven, yeah, and Gigan, that was the year Gigan was born. So, so it's I issue six. I don't know when was born. I was there. Well, when Dorian would have been like, for a mum's parents having a baby amongst uh, all the nap time? Huh? Or was it just before the third mum? Well, it would have been, because Jan re-39, so yeah, it probably would have been before World War Two began. Yeah. I, I don't know must have been awkward having a baby. The year the other parents gave birth to her. The other Gigan's parents gave birth to was was the year of World War Two. Well, he was born before the war. Before the war, seven months. No, and Jordan said about mum being born in nineteen thirty nine. Same year as World War Two. Yeah, World War Two. Yes, exactly. It's eighty years. Didn't see the bloody war in thirty anyway. Yeah, and in the ninth, yes, the 80th anniversary of World War Two this year.
Yeah, it's exactly 80 years. Well, it's 80 years this year, the 80th anniversary of World War Two. It's 100 years since World War One finished. 1919. And there's some people who are alive now who witnessed World War One, but they'd be like 100 and something. Mm. Like the oldest woman ever, I think she was about 16 when World War Two ended. The one who's still alive now, the oldest woman alive now. Yeah, she was. Uh, she's 116 now. And it's found out as well that she was diagnosed with cancer when she was 103, but she beat it. So that's good. So in 2006 she had it, and then obviously she. I don't remember being here. Oh, and also, I'm not sure this is the case, but um, to do with, Di with Diana and the crash, it seemed like that Margaret, Princess Margaret, seemed to have a problem with Diana as well. You know, her, the Queen's sister? Oh. Yeah, so maybe the one responsible, maybe it could have been her, possibly. Oh, and problem is, even if it was her, then that's kind of... Anything is a little bullshit. Yeah, can we call it by bloody doctor, but... <coughs> but for safe men. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Yeah, think about it, though, who, t who do you think told... Who did the pap... Who told the paparazzis that Dodi and Diana were in the hotel? Who tells them anything, eh? Could have been anybody in the hotel. Yeah. Now it's up to three three deaths because of uh because of the crash. Yeah, I just realised every single one of them on there is a coronation star. Everything going on there is is not is a Condition Street star, yeah. so it's Condition Street special. Oh, there's another thing I uh, found out as well. Another thing I found out, you know, um, it turns out that uh, 750 million people tuned in to watch Charles and Diana's wedding in the yeah. 80s, in 1981. I wasn't one of them. Well, you didn't watch it. Uh, and uh, yeah, and also um, I saw the interview. Apparently um. Since they got engaged, I don't think it was long before the interview. Um, within a week, they had about twenty-five thousand letters, and since they got engaged, they've had about a hundred thousand letters. And uh, he said, um, or Prince Charles said that they had uh, three thousand presents from people. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prince Charles and Diana did. They had three thousand presents because their engagement, and apparently they had f there was forty sacks worth of presents. So that that's mad. Oh, so the queen, the queen and Prince Philip. Was, oh no, they when they got married, they weren't even, they weren't, uh, they weren't uh, queen and duke yet. Which artist's work 